What's up everyone, Koto Lewis here, back with another video on Sunhaven. So in this one, we're going to be doing the fishing guide. This is going to help anybody out who's trying to complete the fishing altar, or anyone who's just a completionist and wants to catch everything they can, or somebody looking for new spots, or just anything like that. I'm just going to be... It's just an all-out guide for fishing, basically. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. Now, first of all, I want to just say the fishing nets, I'm pretty sure you can catch any of like the sea fish, maybe not even the sea fish, honestly. It's kind of weird. You can catch the farm fish and some of the sea fish because there are some of the crab stuff in there. Maybe the crabs are just on the farm too. I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and pull that up actually. I've got our lists here. These are all the lists we're going to have to go through. But yeah, see, I don't, I didn't catch any crabs here, but... Uh, and this is just all my stuff that I've been trying to get. So let's go ahead and just harvest these. But first of all, for the fishing guide, I want to just say you pretty much want to build as many of these nets as you can. And let's go ahead and just start off to. You're going to start off with only be able to place like I think five or maybe ten down, and then each you can buy these fishing permits, and then you use them. You can only use them one time, and then you just. This is going to increase the amount. Right now, we're up to 30. You can't see it right now because my head's blocking it. But up here in the top left, right where my face is, there's usually something there that says 30 out of 30 on the nets or however many however many nets you have. And these are basically just passive. Let's go ahead and just pick them up. Look at this massive experience we're about to get from this, though. It's pretty intense and so many fish, too. It's kind of crazy, honestly. I don't really care much for these big nets, not gonna lie. They seem kind of way too slow compared to the small nets. But there there you have it for the nets and stuff. I definitely recommend getting those if you're missing any fish. They're, you can just get all kinds of random fish out of them and just so many things. I mean, I think a lot of the stuff you're gonna be able to catch here though is just mainly farm fish. Not gonna give you the stuff from the other places, what it looks like to me for the most part from my experience. Let's go ahead and pull that list back up. So let's get started on this. The, each location is going to depend on the fish and I've gone went ahead and marked some of these fish for you that all the fish that are for altars so starting with the farm fish let's go ahead and just read through these that we can catch the silver carp, we can catch catfish, goldfish, pygmy tuna, bluegill, and the chromafin. The chromafin and the goldfish are two that we need for the altars. So you're definitely going to want to spend some time here at the farm catching them. Now these fish can be caught other places too. You're going to notice that a lot of these are repeats in different places. So, But there are some places that you can only catch that one fish. So that's really probably where a lot of people are stuck at for the altars. Let's go ahead and just pull up the next list. I'm not really going to bother going to these places, honestly, because I don't think really anybody needs help finding them. It's pretty self-explanatory, just in the name, like this one, Sunhaven Town. This is going to be all the Sunhaven Town fish. If you're in the town of Sunhaven and there's any water there, then you're going to get a chance to get from these fish. Now we've got the Pygmy Tuna, the Dorado, the Goldfish, again, the Red Tie Guppy, the Carp, Chromafin and the bluegill. The chromafin, goldfish, and dorado are all altar fish. You're gonna see these like carp, red tie guppy, goldfish, and dorado are in a lot of them. Even the tuna. These right here honestly are almost in all the places I feel like. They really are. They're really common fish. But let's go ahead and move on to the beach. Now the beach is like the most massive. It only has a couple altar fish but it's got tons of other fish. Let's go ahead and just read through them. We've got the crab, We've got blunted swordfish, ironhead sturgeon, pufferfish, streamlined cod, sea bass, golden carp, eel, blue tang, cuttlefish, pygmy tuna, angelfish, white belly shark, royal herring, and the bashful pike. Now, a lot of these, like I said, aren't going to be used for the altar. Really, all we need to worry about is this golden carp and sea bass. And then also the crab. The crab is pretty easy to get, but I mean the sea, the sea bass as well. But the golden carp is a little bit tougher. That's a more rare spawn, but that's I'm pretty sure this only the sea bass and the golden carp are only going to spawn here. The crab you can get here on the farm out of the nets. So, but and you can just find them laying down on the beach as well. So, but let's go ahead and move on to the next list. 
Now this is going to be for the forest west, that's the one to the west, which is to the left when you go up and then to the left towards the way of Nilvari. Now here we can find the eel, chromafin, dorado, red tie guppy, silver carp, bluegill, catfish, the average mouth bass, the red snapper, and the goldfish. A lot of repeats in this one again, but there's a few unique ones like the red snapper is different at the bass here. I think maybe the catfish, we haven't seen that one yet. And then of course we've got these two for the altar again. They're pretty common in the Sunhaven area. You can pretty much get that chromophane in any of the Sunhaven type environments, like including the forest and the wilderness. So we're, we're moving on to the wilderness right now. That's going to be to the east, so that's going to be going straight east from the fountain in the middle of town where you're going to have to cross that bridge and everything. And here we can get the red tie guppy, the dorado, bluegill, catfish, carp, red snapper, silver carp, goldfish, eel, average mouth bass, chromafin, and red eyed piranha. Pretty much all of these are the same, except for we got this random red-eyed piranha here. I've noticed that. But I think that was about the only one difference. From, and you know, we might actually be able to get those in other places too. I just this is just from my experience, what I've caught here. I've just wrote everything down that I've caught, and I've fished for about each one of these locations for about a day, if not more, in game time of just sitting there at that one place and just fishing as much as I can. Now I think I've pretty well caught everything there is, but there may be a few things I'm missing, but so if you ever see anything then let me know. I'm gonna be putting this list on Reddit and everything, so I'll keep an updated list there. I'll try to keep an updated list in the description, but let's go ahead and move on. Now we've got the Nelvari Town, we've got Kelp Eel, Snobfish, Dragon Gulper, Velveteen Beta, Flamefish, and the crystal tetra. Now here is two unique fish to this area. I think the crystal tetra can only be caught in the town. You may be able to get it in the forest, but I don't think so. And then the flame fish, it can be caught in I'm pretty sure the town or the forest of Navari. And those are both going to be used for the altar, so super important. Now let's go ahead and move on to the forest. We've got red tie guppy, dorado, average mouth bass, goldfish, Silver Carp, Flamefish, Dragon Gulper, Unicorn Fish, Bark Fish, and Sky Ray. The most important ones here, of course, again, are going to be the Sky Ray. I'm pretty sure Sky Ray only spawns here in this area. I don't think it spawns anywhere else. And again, like the Flamefish is unique to here and then the town as well in Navari. Now let's move on to the Withergate town. We've got Zombie Fish, Living Jelly, Bone Mouth Bass, Jacko Fin, and the Duo Rado. The Duo Rado is different than the Dorado. It's like a two headed version of the Dorado. So we're going to need that for the altar and then this Bone Mouth Bass as well for the altar. Moving on, Withergate Forest. We've got the Dead Eye Shrimp, Jacko Fin, Slime Leech, Living Jelly, Zombie Fish, Per Maid, and the Shadow Tuna. Uh, I think this is the only place I've found the Permade so far, so this may be the only place you can get it. So that's important right there to know. Withergate Forest for the Permade for the Altar. And last but not least, we've got the Sewers. We've got the Toothy Angler, the Duo Rado, Zombie Fish, Shadow Tuna, Bone Mouth Bass, and Slime Leech. And again, we've got these two for the Altar. Now that's everything I've got for all the lists of the fishes and everywhere to get them. That's all the locations and everything. Definitely, hopefully that helps everybody out. I think I've got most of the fish on every list. Pretty accurate list for the most part. I spent all night working on it. Hopefully, you know, if nothing else, it's going to help you guys out with the altar. If you're missing any fish from the altars, you're going to be able to get them in those locations. So it's for sure going to be an altar fishing altar guide. 
maybe not a complete and total fishing location guide and for all the fish but i think i've got about 90 percent of them if not more like there's only one or two i feel like i would be missing but let me know if you've seen any down below like i said i will definitely get them in the description or i'll put them on the post on reddit but that's all i've got for you in this one so if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out get it helped you get those fishing altars then uh let let me know leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe for sure because i'm going to be making more guides and videos just like this we're really trying to get up to 100 subs so i'm really trying to push that if you think of any other fish that i didn't get or you see some locations off or something or anything like that let me know down below in the comments other than that guys i'll see you in the next one